Formatting text with fonts and colors is one of the fun things about Microsoft Word. The general rule of thumb is you must first have selected what you want to apply fonts and colors to. So let's take a look at our home ribbon. Uh, right up here we have an entire set. This is called the font group. And we have our font style and size and all kinds of things we can do. Plus we have a dialog box operator for even deeper and more advanced fonts. I'll hit cancel on that right now. What I want to do is actually work right down here on the screen. So I'm going to click and drag this very first line of topic one. Now watch what happens when I let go. The mini bar pops up. And on the mini bar are the base level sets of fonts. Well, since we're just applying bold and red here, let's go ahead and do that. Notice I'll click the B and the tooltip pops up, control B. And I want the color red. Right now mine is set for green. So any button with the letter A on it means alphabet. You're going to change alphabet. This time, color. So I'll hit the drop down and I'll choose red. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Topic two, italicize in blue. This time I'll float my mouse in the left hand margin. Just click once to select the entire line and the mini bar pops up and I want to choose italicize. Tooltip says control I and I'll change the color to blue. Okay, let's do some advanced stuff. On topic three, we want to apply underline and green and strikeout. So I'll select the line, but the mini bar doesn't have the strikeout on it. That's on the home ribbon. So eyeballs up to the top to the home ribbon. Here we go. We want the underline button. Tooltip says control U. We'll change the font color to green and we want strikeout, which is right here, also called strike through. So I'll go ahead and click that and it crosses it through. All right, how about topic four? Go ahead and select the line. This time we're going to apply bold, underline, italicize, oh my goodness, all kinds of stuff. And we're going to make it orange. Hit the drop down arrow and choose orange on this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dialog box operator. I'll click the little tiny arrow on the corner. Let's take a look deeper. Check this out. We have strike through and you can see the preview right here. Turn that off. Show double strike through. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Double strike through. You can also apply small caps, which will capitalize every letter, but the first letter is slightly larger. What about all caps? Now this is different than uppercase. If I turn on uppercase or lowercase, doesn't matter. I turn on all caps, everything will be all capitalized. What about hidden? Do I want to hide that text? No, nope, I don't. I'm going to leave it unhidden. And I'll go ahead and click OK right here. So what we've seen so far are three ways to find the fonts. We can make a selection, find the mini bar fonts. We can come up to the home ribbon, find the font group right here, and we can open up the dialog box and find more font options in here. Let's work on the paragraph. This is really cool. Okay, so this paragraph is part of an announcement flyer or perhaps part of a story. I want to add a drop cap to the first letter. It'll make the first letter huge. I don't even have to be clicked on the first word, just be clicked into the paragraph. Now this is on the insert ribbon and it's way over on the far right hand side. There's a text group and this button right here says add a drop cap. When I hit the drop down, notice I have dropped cap and I have in margin cap. I'll choose drop cap here and on the next paragraph, I'll do the same thing, but I'll choose the in margin cap. Okay, puts a first letter in the margin. You've seen this in magazines. You've seen this on storybooks. Notice also we have drop cap options on that list. I could tell this to go five lines deep and hit OK and there made it even larger. Okay, this exercise was a good time to explore fonts and colors. 